Ronk Valley High School, a premier Catholic high school in the Archdiocese of Indianapolis, where our mission statement suggests that students are challenged to respond to the call of discipleship and fulfill their mission as lifelong learners in service to others. It's a mission that we embrace gladly. We're proud to be here today. My name is Joe Hollowell. I'm president of Ron Colley High School and proud to serve with Chuck Weisenbach, our principal. Also with us today are Father Bob Robeson, who's the dean of our South Deanery Parishes in Indianapolis. He's also the pastor of Holy Name Parish. Michelle Radomski, our assistant superintendent of secondary education for the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. And Gina Fleming joins us today, superintendent of our Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. And Father Bob, I'd like to ask you, if you would, to start us off with prayer today. Sure, thanks, Joe. Uh, we're going to start with a prayer from Pope uh, St. John the Twenty-Third, Angelo Roncalli, formerly known as Angelo Roncalli. And let's uh, begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who are called Prince of Peace, who are yourself our peace and reconciliation, who so often said peace to you, grant us peace. Make all men and women witnesses of truth, justice, and brotherly love. Banish from their hearts whatever might endanger peace. Enlighten our rulers that they may guarantee and defend the great gift of peace. May all peoples of the earth become as brothers and sisters. May long for peace blossom forth and reign always over us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Joe, and thank you, Father Bob, for that introduction. What a blessing it is to be here with each of you today. As a proud alum, a parent of one alum and one current student, and the Archbishop's delegate to oversee Catholic education and formation in Central and Southern Indiana, it is always edifying to witness firsthand the incredible work of all of our school communities. We have particularly appreciated the opportunity to work closely with Joe and Chuck uh, and all of the Broncali leadership team as we conducted the internal organizational assessment this spring semester. Michelle will explain more about the process. Thank you, Gina. Like Gina, I've been truly humbled by the opportunity to see Roncalli in action throughout this semester. If my daughters were still in high school, I would be so grateful if they could attend Roncalli. The Office of Catholic Schools and the Archdiocese of Indianapolis recognizes what an incredible opportunity and responsibility Roncalli High School, the largest archdiocesan parochial school ministry in central and southern Indiana, has in the education and formation of young people. In order to affirm the many accolades RHS has earned and to determine areas for improvement, OCS and school leadership coordinated an internal organizational assessment with board support and input from Father Bob Robeson, Dean of South Deanery. Gina Fleming and I worked closely with school leaders from January through mid-March. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, Time was shortened, and a formal report was crafted as an addendum to the accreditation report resulting from the continuous improvement review conducted in fall 2019. During the internal organizational assessment period, OCS representatives spent an average of three days a week on site. I participated in meetings with staff, parents, and students. Additionally, Gina Fleming dove deeper into operational vitality as overseen by the president of Roncalli High School. Both members of the Office of Catholic Schools also reviewed several policies, practices, and protocols that address student safety, positive habit formation, discipline, and financial decisions. Please note that this report does not fully highlight all commendations, for there are too many to note. The top few commendations and recommendations that surfaced consistently throughout the time of the assessment are included. The full report has been shared with school leaders and the executive summary, which captures the suggested priorities as based on the commendations and recommendations therein, has been presented to the entire board and will be provided to the faculty and school families. Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of Indianapolis are encouraged to utilize the national standards and benchmarks of effective Catholic elementary and secondary schools. 
as our guide and an assessment tool to measure the effectiveness and sustainability of our operations here at Run Collie. We utilize these standards as part of our strategic planning process and the school's accreditation through the Archdiocese of Indianapolis and Cognia are structured around four major domains defined by these standards. Those domains are Catholic identity and mission, leadership and governance, academic excellence, and operational vitality. So as we walk through the executive summary of the internal organizational assessment, significant accommodations and prioritized recommendations using these four domains will be shared with you. The Ron Collier leadership team is very grateful for the support and guidance of Archbishop Thompson and the Austin Catholic Schools always, and especially as we pause to affirm the areas which we excel in along we, while we strive to continuously improve Ron Collier for the benefit of all of those students and families that we serve. Thank you, Joe. I invite Father Bob at this time to share with us the domain of Catholic identity and mission. Thanks, Gina. The primary commendation regarding mission and Catholic identity addresses prayer and sacramental life at Roncalli. Daily prayer is led by a variety of people, including administrators, teachers, and senior students. The prayer is not prescribed, but rather developed by the individual and then delivered to the entire community over the intercom system. Having different people lead prayer and having each prayer be personalized is a meaningful experience for the students. We also want to thank the priests of the South Deanery because due to them, Mass is celebrated monthly as a school family and Mass is also offered each week in the chapel. Students uh, have the opportunity to participate in the Sacrament of Reconciliation on a weekly basis and are given the opportunity to, uh, to participate in a uh, penance service each season of Advent and Lent. And finally, it is expected that each teacher begins every class with prayer. Thank you, Father Bob. I'll continue in this domain and um, share with you some recommendations that arose from our work with Ron Colley regarding mission and Catholic identity. First, prayer and the role of ministers of the faith. At the time of the continuous improvement journey in the fall, it was noted that teachers integrate faith into their instruction. However, several have noted that they do not necessarily see themselves as teachers of the faith. As Ron Colley continues to provide spiritual development opportunities, it is important to affirm the role of each teacher as a minister of the faith, not only in the content that they teach, but in the way they live their lives. It is evident that Ron Colley has an outstanding teaching staff to whom students look up and wish to exemplify. This is why it is important that all adults recognize their witness to the faith, both in and out of school. Furthermore, given that Roncalli High School is a ministry of the Catholic Church in central and southern Indiana, all employees, beginning with leadership, will recognize the direct relationship Roncalli has with the Archbishop, the Archdiocese, and its secretariats, and eliminating any kind of division. The second recommendation is uh, affiliated with an external assessment related to inclusive cultures. An external assessment by Dr. Cassandra Cole, Director of the Center on Education and Lifelong Learning and Coordinator of the Special Education Leadership Program at Indiana University, will be conducted for a few distinct purposes. It will address questions and or concerns that exist in the community regarding Ron Colley's special education services and provide recommendations for full inclusivity of students no matter their academic, physical, and or social emotional differences. Dr. Cole will be able to affirm the many efforts already in place and provide some suggestions to strengthen the well-designed Life Academy and STARS programs while giving helpful insight into best practices effective for all classrooms and school settings. Although this visit was originally scheduled for March 2020, 
due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the intent is to reschedule for the fall of 2020. It has been requested that it be held early in the school year and as early as possible, once the students and teachers have had a bit more time to acclimate to the new year. Mr. Weisenbach, as Ron Colley's principal, would you like to share what the Rebel administration and staff is already doing to enhance Catholic identity and mission? Thank you, Gina, very much. It'd be my pleasure. This past year, we instituted the Angelo groups uh, in kind of reference to, again, Angelo Roncalli. Part of that was our faculty and staff participated in monthly small faith sharing programs of their choice. Some of the examples of the faith sharing groups included Lectio Divina uh, on the Eucharist, reading, reviewing, and discussing elements of the catechism, or talking about moral relativism. Our president and director of campus ministry as well, Jeff Trailer, have been in dialogue with the pastors of our South Deanery parishes on the concept of pastors leading some small faith sharing groups during this upcoming school year. Not all the logistics have been worked out yet, but we are hopeful that that becomes a reality. Ron Colley also will implement the catechetical formation program, My Catholic Faith Delivered, for all of its teachers and administrators this coming school year. At this time, Ms. Mrs. Radomski is going to share some highlights and areas for growth within the doctrine of leadership and governance. In the area of governance and leadership, one of the commendations includes the Stand Up Group. It is a support system for students, and the team is composed of the Assistant Principal for Student Activities, the Dean of Students, Guidance Counselors, the School Social Worker, and other selected teachers and professionals. The team seeks to identify students experiencing physical, social, emotional, or spiritual difficulties and to remove the attendant barriers which interfere with student learning. The team offers these students affirmation, support, direction, counseling, and community referrals. It also provides students with an avenue to receive assistance for drug, alcohol, or tobacco usage addiction without initially incurring any extracurricular penalties. Their goal is to empower these students to experience the same opportunities for growth and development that God intends for all young people. The team acts upon referrals from faculty, staff, parents, and students. In the area of recommendations, we would like to speak about athletics. To ensure best practices in the area of, of athletics, some changes are merited. Roncalli administration has already taken steps to improve various procedures and protocols and continuing monitoring is expected. Supervision protocols in locker rooms, during team meals, and on overnight trips will be enhanced and enforced. Student safety protocols prohibiting use of technology in particular areas and situations will be revised and implemented. Coaches are trained in, in the utilization of sports leader, a Catholic virtue-based formation program for coaches and students in an effort to more fully integrate our Catholic faith into all aspects of the Roncalli experience. Mr. Weisenbach, can you please share what the Rebel community can expect to see going forward this coming year? Thank you, Michelle, would like to. Student athletes and coaches will receive in-service on the updated policies and procedures that you mentioned related to the use of technology in particular areas and situations. This information will also be conveyed to our students in our performing arts department as well, as some of the same challenges exist in the performing arts as they do in the athletic program. All aspects of the supervisory protocol will have been reviewed and revised where necessary prior to the start of our next school year in August so that we can ensure the safety, well-being, and dignity of all entrusted to us. We'll also be reinstating the use of surveys for our athletes and their parents with the primary focus of the surveys being how well the specific team or coach helped mold the young person spiritually, emotionally, and intellectually. I'll also be working with the director of our campus ministry program, Mr. Jeff Trailer, to identify resources our coaches can use to ensure there is a strong, mission-based Catholic identity component to all who are involved in our athletic programs. Mrs. Radomski is now going to share accommodations and recommendations in the domain of academic excellence. Knowing that Ron Colley's academic excellence is evident through test scores, academic competitions, individual student accomplishments, high percentages of students who graduate with academic honors, course selections, etc., little time was spent addressing academic excellence as a part of the Ron Colley experience. A definite commendation is the overall academic life at Ron Colley High School. 
Roncalli has received an A letter grade from the Indiana Department of Education repeatedly and has been named a USDOE Blue Ribbon School of Excellence three times in 1993, 1998, and 2003. They offer a wide variety of classes for students of varying abilities, and they offer both the STARS and Life Academy programs for students who need additional services. Currently, Roncalli offers both AP classes and dual credit classes to meet the needs of students, and they have a 99 to 100% graduation rate yearly. Roncalli leadership continues to hire and retain excellent teachers in all content areas. The, this most certainly cannot be overstated or celebrated too much. In the guidance department, there have been significant shifts in personnel, and the department has notably stepped up to the challenge of getting new staff onboarded and building more collaborative relationships outside of the department. The Office of Catholic Schools recommends a continued focus on effective communications between and among departments so that the holistic development of young people is nurtured and monitored through multiple lenses. Mr. Weisenbach, what are some plans you and your team are making to aid in the area of communications, departmental collaboration, and greater emphasis on the total or holistic development of students? Thank you, Michelle. For the past years, we've been looking at a number of options in this area. One of the great challenges that high schools face when trying to onboard new programming for an entire school is how do we best balance the many different competing demands with the finite amount of time we have with our students on a daily basis. There are demands for instructional time, along with other time demands that come with creative ideas, such as the Angelo groups discussed earlier. Most of our parents are aware that we implemented the Roncalli house system this past school year. We broke the entire school's enrollment down into small groups of 20 students five freshmen, five sophomores, five juniors, and five seniors. Each house, named after a saint in the Catholic Church, met monthly in their small groups and were led by Ron Colley teachers and staff members with an agenda that was formulated for them by our assistant principal for student life, Mr. Kevin Bonich. The purpose, the overriding purpose of our house system is to provide all of our students with the most exceptional, comprehensive, educational, and faith formation experience possible. We didn't expect to hit a home run with our house system in its first year, but we're very pleased with its implement, implementation and very excited to its growth and impact on our students in school. The final domain is operational vitality. Mrs. Fleming, could you please share with us some of the areas in the operational vitality domain? Absolutely. Thank you, Chuck. Today we will share two top commendations that surfaced under this domain of operational vitality. First, our development, advancement, and communications marketing endeavors. Ron Colley has a very strong development advancement plan that leads to both short-term and long-term sustainability. Having successfully garnered in excess of $8.5 million of commitments, Ron Colley was able to complete a new gymnasium as part of a master planning process begun by Archbishop Daniel Beekline in 1994. This year, Ron Colley hosted the first virtual revelation in light of COVID-19, about which Joe will tell you more soon. The team responsible for development advancement efforts works diligently to stay connected to alum, parents of graduates, parents and grandparents of current students, prospective donors, current donors, and business partners. This requires strong collaboration with the hardworking, talented communications marketing team. This collaboration results in effective storytelling. So if you haven't already, please take time to enjoy My Story, Our Family, found on the Ron Colley website. You can always see the Rebel 5 podcasts as well. Both lead to greater interest and buy-in in the Ron Colley experience. Another commendation is the finance department. The director of finance brings a wealth of experience and talent to the table assisting in both the consistent updates to facilities and grounds, as well as the long-term viability of the school. Along with his team and with input from a great group of stakeholders, the Director of Finance operated a more comprehensive tuition assistance program that offers students who are eligible for the 90% voucher more financial support to better close the gap between what it costs to attend Roncalli and the amount covered by the voucher. These efforts will need to continue 
especially as the cost to educate increases at a faster rate than pay increases for families. Additionally, given the fact that many families have lost jobs, have reduced hours, or have been furloughed during this pandemic, there may be greater need this year as an archdiocesan school uh, to continue these efforts. One priority recommendation also surfaced. Many of you know of the Future Foundations Endowment Program. This program is currently being reevaluated to ensure compliance with IRS tax code regulations. It is important that the president, the director of finance, and the board remain in close contact with the Office of Catholic Schools and the Office of Finance as part of the approval process of a re revised approach. This is another area where unity between Roncalli and the Archdiocese will benefit all. Dr. Hollowell, as president, you primarily oversee the operational vitality of Roncalli High School. Could you please share with us what you expect to see in the coming months as it relates to operational vitality? That's a great question, Gina. This is an area of school life that's very important, not only to us, but many of our families and students as well. While we're not able to predict the future, we can certainly gain a lot of clues from our past performance. And in this particular area, the past few months where we've actually been uh, under the effects of the pandemic have been particularly encouraging for us. Near the end of the close of the school year, we've already recognized and reported that we went over our goal with an online version of our annual fundraiser revelation, which generates uh, money for financial assistance for families. We netted over $130,000 in, in an event that was totally online. A tremendous response from our Ron Collie community. Out of the 25 plus years that we've offered Revelation, that's about the third highest amount we've ever netted. That's a great sign of encouragement for us. Additionally, we announced in the past six weeks or so the beginning of the next phase of our facility upgrades as a result of the generous support from our On This Rock Building Faith and Futures Capital campaign. A portion of that campaign was designated to modernize our kitchen and to allow us to better serve over 1,200 meals every day. Continued generous support from our capital campaign benefactors allowed us to generate enough funds and resources to begin the next phase of that, which will be actually a beginning of our uh, facility renovations in our kitchen area with the installation of a walk-in freezer, walk-in cooler. We're very excited about that. A third sign that we want to mention today is that we've announced many changes to our financial aid program in anticipation of additional needs on the part of our families. Some of those areas that we've made improvements in, first of all, we've streamlined our financial aid application process for those families who have been impacted financially by the COVID-19 virus. Uh, the pool of funds that are been made available to those families have been increased as well. The state also is joining in. They have provided an expanded window of time for families to apply for vouchers in case there have been income changes in uh, areas of time outside of the normal uh, timelines that the state would require for those applications. Uh, currently, uh, the good news is also that our enrollment is right at what we have projected and what we have budgeted for. We continue to work aggressively with uh, bringing more families that are investigating that process into the Ron Colley fold as well in our Office of Institutional Advancement uh, are very active in staying in touch with those families. And finally, uh, it looks like we'll be very uh, uh, much within reach of attaining and surpassing our annual fund goal of $450,000 of unrestricted funds for Ron Colley use. We're closing in on that. We have a month to go uh, to close that that gap and we're very excited to in this time of great financial challenge to be able to look at over uh, surpassing that goal as well as a tremendous uh, sign of hope for us so based on the Ron Colley family's history of response of appeals to appeals for financial support uh, my projection would be that we'll continue to operate from a position of financial stability and financial strength this is a wonderful blessing and I believe it stems um, ultimately from being in a community that has always put the education of its young people at the top of its priority list. So I want to thank everybody that's helped our families and helped us support in these efforts regarding our capital campaign, our revelation, our annual fund, 
and we look forward for that continued support on into the future. Thank you, Joe. This is truly a time to celebrate. Uh, we certainly have so many wonderful things occurring at Roncalli and occurring because of many, many people. For the better part of Ron Colley's existence, the leadership team of Joe Hollowell and Chuck Weisenbach has blazed trails that resulted in heightened academic rigor, increased numbers of graduates going on to priesthood or other religious vocations, expansion of the Ron Colley footprint, enhancement of and addition to facilities, including the chapel, renovated media center, additional classrooms, the auditorium, the new gymnasium, and more. Development efforts have also made Catholic education and formation affordable and accessible to far more students these past few years. Thank you, Dr. Hollowell, and thank you, Mr. Weisenbach, for leading the charge and for empowering the incredible team at Roncalli High School to do what they do best. On behalf of Archbishop Thompson, I wish to thank the wonderful Roncalli faculty and staff who give of themselves so readily so that our young people can be all that God created them to be. Thank you to the Ron Colley Board, whose advice, expertise, and support assure long-term viability. Your contributions have been incredibly impactful. Thank you to Father Bob, our Dean of the South Deanery, Father Doug Hunter, Chaplain Coordinator for Ron Colley, and all of our pastors in the South Deanery. It is through your prayers and financial support that Ron Colley continues to serve the Southside community well. Thank you to our parents and guardians who entrust your young people to our care. Please know that you are making a tremendous impact and investment in the lives of your child and many others. And thank you to all the friends of Ron Colley High School who utilize your gifts to make Ron Colley a wonderful place for young people to be formed and educated. As we reflect with great joy and gratitude on the past 50 years of Roncalli High School, we also ponder with anticipation and excitement what the next 50 years of Ron the Roncalli experience will encompass. Let us pray for continued integrity in upholding the mission, continued faithfulness in God as our ultimate provider and source of all love, and continued commitment to doing all we can to aid in the vibrancy and vitality of the Catholic Church and her great ministry of Catholic education and formation. Today's prayer uh, with which we will end was written by Joseph P. Shadel. Would you please join me in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 God of love, you are with us in every transition and change. As we enter into this new era with excitement and even some anxiety, we recall your deep compassion, presence, and abounding love. We thank you for the gifts, talents, and skills with which you have blessed us. We thank you for the experiences that have brought us to this moment. We thank you for the work of others that gives breadth and depth to our own work. Be with us as we move forward, rejoicing with you and supporting one another. We ask yes, this in your holy, holy name. name. Amen. Amen. And for the final blessing, the Lord be with you. And with, and with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks to God. God.